When I was practicing as a vet, I kept having patients coming in with anal gland related problems and issues. And it seemed odd to me at the time, you know, why did I keep getting all these cases with the same issue? And then, you know, I just realized, well, this is just a super common problem for pets that no one was addressing. It's one of those things where I knew when I was a little child, as early as three years old, that I was gonna be a vet. I just loved animals. I was always gravitated towards animals. I was inspired to become a vet just watching my dad as a little boy wanting to be just like him. My mom and dad immigrated from Egypt. He was already a veterinarian and really came for the American dream. James been an animal lover all his life. And of course, I the same, so we used to have a lot of pets in the house. I feel like it runs in the family, so my sister's also a vet, and so she shares that same uh, passion and compassion for animals. All of us grew up loving animals, but James especially, I remember he really wanted a husky, and so, you know, he put his heart and soul into it, convinced my parents. He found one at a shelter. Cherokee was his dog, and definitely he cared and loved for him. There was that natural bond between myself and animals, and so, I don't know, there's just like this boy who wanted to have a dog. Just dogs made me feel happy, being around animals made me feel happy. Watching my dad and the care and commitment that he had with animals and the, the quality of practice that he had, really putting the pets in the forefront and having those high standards, it became who I was as a vet. I came up with the idea for Glanix just by seeing so many patients that had the same constant problem and just really understanding that you know, this is a big issue that, um, you know, we just as vets weren't doing enough to address. He just like has this internal drive that tells him he can do better, he can do more. He took it as a great challenge. He's like, I think I have a really great idea. Hours and hours reading textbooks and doing my own research to understand the problem better, to really come up with the right ingredients and the right nutrition. So it was a long process. It, it didn't happen overnight. His vision was much bigger than being in just a clinic setting. He wanted to help animals not only with their everyday problems, but like expound on that and see how he can take his knowledge, his love for uh, the veterinary medicine and expound it globally. When we first started selling Glandex, um, we started getting some initial feedback from pet parents. And so the reviews were coming in and they were astonishing. It was just overwhelmingly positive and it showed that we truly had something special and that we had come up with this formulation that was going to change how pet parents and veterinarians would address anal gland health. And that's true for our products today and any formulations we have today. It starts with an idea and a concept. It starts with how we can do better and create really the best supplement and the best formulation that's gonna have the highest level of efficacy. And there's a process that goes into the research and then some of the clinical data and the science to then the formulation and then the product development. It certainly is a long process, but one that we take very seriously. James is setting a standard that really inspires us to do our best every day. And when you look at the history of Vetnik and where he started from and what he's built, we all understand why we have to meet that standard. I mean, the amazing thing is that this vision that I had 10 years ago has just continued to grow and develop with our team. And so they've carried that passion and enthusiasm that I have for helping pets into an entire company. And we're all motivated for the same thing, which is helping pets to live better and to thrive. Veterinarians are thinking more and more about how they can do better for their clients and how they can be more preventative in their recommendations. So we have thousands of veterinarians worldwide that recommend Vetnik's products. And I think, you know, that's a testament to the quality of what we put into what we're doing. So Vetnik has a nose to tail pet health portfolio, which basically means that you know, we've developed products to support all the key needs of pets. Part of our Vetnik team is a vet advisory board. These are veterinarians in different fields of veterinary medicine, different specialties, and you know, they're educating people so they can understand their pets' needs and health better. Through videos, through blogs, through articles that appear on our social media sites and our websites, pet parents can read and see this information. Vetnik's mission is simple, and it's really to help pets thrive. And so at the end of the day, our products need to improve the health of these pets and help them live better. And if we've done that, then we've accomplished our mission. And so we're always trying to think of new ideas and new ways to do that. We're always raising the bar as far as how we develop products and the ingredients we use and just continuing to innovate pet health. 
Whenever we find something that's really hard to do, he always goes, this is what we should go after. Because this is something that nobody else has been able to solve. And if we can solve it, it's great for the pet, it's great for the pet family, and it's great for us too as a company. You have to be a special person to be able to work with animals and to have that kind of compassion and sensitivity. But he also has a love to push things forward. And so it's actually amazing. His story is amazing. You know, we're so proud of him. James is inventing the future of pet health. New ingredients being found, new ways to naturally treat things that dogs face. And James is always doing research and development to try to find those solutions and bring them to bear to the marketplace. I'm grateful for the impact that we're having on pets. The passion that I have as a child for animals just continues. That doesn't go away. If anything, it's amplified. Having my own dog and just feeling that love and energy that he brings to us makes me that much more inspired to continue to do great things for pets and pet families everywhere.